Where tinderbox dry, you know, if, if the wind kicks up and it takes one spark, and here we go. Well, and the concern being, of course, the farther west you are. So when they raise the level to level two, it means that there are elevated fire danger conditions in some areas. Extra resources may be needed. And so when they hit this level, they can start to maybe stage some aircraft and have some people in place for if and when things get worse. And of course, we don't want to see level three, level four, or level five, but we don't have much going on as far as relief is concerned from rain or from the heat over the next seven days. Locally, we're going to stay in the mid and upper 70s overnight. The winds are going to be light. We're not expecting to pick up any rain until at least the weekend. And even as we head into the weekend, we're talking very minimal amounts. Tomorrow, we should start to see more triple digits back in the forecast. We topped out at 97 today. Forecast high of 101 for Dallas, Fort Worth, and McKinney, 102 in Denton tomorrow. And the farther west you go, where it's drier, uh, the, we're going to start to see those temperatures in the 104 to 105 degree range. We'll see that here in North Texas as we head a little bit closer to Wednesday and Thursday as this high pressure dome just starts to build from the west. Now, I do want to point out because this is building from the west and pushing east, that's actually part of what is pushing Tropical Storm Debbie back out over the Atlantic waters. And then we'll likely start to see as this high pressure retreats back to the west, we'll start to see the possibility of another landfall with Debbie likely along the Carolina the coast right now it's looking like it may be between Georgetown and Myrtle Beach South Carolina so we'll keep an eye on that there but with high pressure just kind of building in Wednesday and Thursday here in North Texas we're talking about the hottest temperatures we've seen so far this year 104 forecast on Wednesday 105 on Thursday we're still at 104 on Friday and at that point we're feeling like 108 with some spots maybe out to the west in excessive heat warning criteria so it is going to be brutal we're not going to see rain like this just exceptional rainfall to the east uh, because of Tropical Storm Debbie, but we do have very, very low rain chances over the next seven days as that high pressure retreats back to the west. We'll have a weak cold front arriving this weekend. It'll knock temperatures back down into the 99 to 100 degree range. Rain chances at 10 to 20 percent, kind of starting Friday night, continuing Saturday and Sunday. But, Doug, that's about as much relief as we're going to get over the next I'm just seven. sitting here shaking my head emoji, knocking them down to 100. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we are.